this video tutorial I will explain how to connect your Spring Boot application to MongoDB Atlas. I have logged into MongoDB Atlas website. Here you can see deployment. Click on database. I have already created the MongoDB cluster. The cluster name is cluster 0. Click on connect. And first we will connect to cluster 0 using MongoDB Combus. So that we can view the data visually. I already have MongoDB Combus installed in my system. So this is the connection string. Copy that. Open MongoDB Combus. Here paste the URL, provide the password, click on connect and it is successfully connected to the cluster 0 and here you can see the databases. Here you can see Spring Boot application, it has a user controller, user service, user repository. User controller talks to user service user service talks to user repository and user repository will communicate to MongoDB Atlas. MongoDB Atlas is a cloud based database service which is provided by MongoDB Inc. It offers a fully managed, scalable and secure version of MongoDB database. Here you can see Postman. Using a Postman client, we can send user details to Spring Boot application. Spring Boot application will convert uh, this user JSON to user object and uh, pass it to user controller. User controller pass the user object to user service. Then uh, user service pass the user object to user repository and uh, user repository will save uh, user object as uh, document in Mongo database. Here you can see MongoDB demo project uh, Spring Boot application. And here you can see the directory structure of uh, this project. Step 1 is uh, add dependencies. We have to add uh, these two dependencies in uh, pom.xml file. The first one is uh, Spring Boot Starter Data MongoDB. The second one is uh, Spring Boot Starter Web. Here you can see pom.xml file. And here I have included the two dependencies which we have discussed. Second step is configure MongoDB connection. In Spring Boot projects application dot property file, we have to specify the MongoDB connection details. And URI, we have to specify like this. Here root is a username and password is pass pass and this is the cluster name we are going to connect and order is nothing but a order database here you can see application dot properties file and in this file i have given the connection details the connection details i got from here click on connect Here you can see MongoDB for VS Code. Click on that. To connect to your MongoDB deployment, you have to use uh, this connection string. That is what uh, here you can see. Only thing I have replaced is password. And at the end, I have added order database. Third step is uh, create a MongoDB entity. We have to define a MongoDB entity class that represents document in your MongoDB collection. We have to annotate the class with add document annotation and uh, define the fields and their mappings. Please keep in mind that your class will be your collection name and uh, variable will be the column name when it will create in your database. Here I have defined the class user and uh, here I have specified add document annotation and it has three fields user ID, name and age. 
and user id i have annotated with uh, at id so that uh, user id will be auto generated and uh, it will be unique here i have defined the user class and uh, it is uh, mongodb entity class step 4 is uh, define mongodb repository we have to create a mongodb repository interface by extending mongo repository interface which is provided by spring data mongodb with the help of this interface we can perform a cred operation in our database here i have defined the interface uh, user repository and uh, here i have annotated with at repository which extends uh, mongo repository interface and uh, here i am passing uh, user and string user is nothing but the class name which we have already defined and uh, string is the data type of uh, user id this field uh, we have already defined in user class and uh, this user id field is annotated with at id annotation and uh, inside this we can define uh, custom queries or uh, use default uh, cred operations provided by mongo repository interface here you can see user repository interface which we have uh, discussed fifth step is uh, use mongodb repository we have to inject uh, mongodb repository into our uh, spring boot service class and uh, use the repository to perform uh, database operations here i have defined the class uh, user service and uh, annotated with at service annotation here i have injected uh, user repository and uh, here it has uh, two methods add user and uh, get all user using uh, add user method we can save uh, user details to mongo database and uh, using uh, get all user method we can get uh, all the users from mongo database here you can see the user service class which we have uh, discussed just now sixth step is uh, define the controller class which uses uh, service class we have to create a controller class from there we can perform a cred operation in our database we have to annotate the controller class with uh, at rest controller annotation here i have defined the class uh, user controller and uh, annotated with at rest controller and uh, here i have auto wired user service object it has uh, two methods add user and uh, get all user using add user method we can create a new user in the mongo database using a get all user method we can get all users from the mongo database to call this method we have to use this url and to call this method we have to use this url here you can see the class user controller which we have discussed just now here i have defined the class mongo db demo application which is a spring boot application now i am going to run this uh, spring boot application and uh, here you can see the spring boot application is started and uh, it started in uh, 8080 port here you can see all the available databases and uh, order database is uh, not there using postman i will send user details to spring boot application and that user details will be saved in mongo database that we will see now to call this add user method we have to use this path and http method should be post and we have to send user details and here you can see the url and http method is post and in the body i am sending the user details name is arun age is 30 click on send and here you can see the output the user detail is successfully created and this is the unique id click on refresh and here you can see order database is created in that user collection is created it has uh, one record i will send uh, one more user detail 
click on send and one more record is created and this is the unique id click on refresh and here you can see two records are created To get all user, we have to use this method. To call this method, we have to use this path and HTTP method should be get. This is the URL we have to use. HTTP method should be get and click on send. Here we got the output. We got array of user details. This is the first user information. This is the second user information. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click on like button and please subscribe to my channel. You can get Java source code and PowerPoint presentation for each and every video. That you can see it in the description section of the video. Click on show more and here you can see the description and here you can see the links to download source code and PowerPoint presentation.